What's up? How are you guys today? Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is having fun and relaxing at the very least. The way I'm kind of celebrating is having this cheat meal, mainly because I've been craving hot dogs for like uh, two or three weeks now. And guys, we're keeping this PG for the holidays, family friendly. I'm not going to make any craving hot dog jokes. And we're going to go over uh, the ingredients here, actually, because this isn't really a cheat meal. The only reason I'm saying that is because of the quality of the hot dog buns that we don't really have control over. Everything else here for the most part is something that you can eat every day and be incredibly healthy with, especially our 100% grass-fed hot dogs on Frankie's Sea Range meat that are available in the beef share. Not only are these grass-fed with no preservatives, it's a custom spice blend that I kind of engineered to be minimally inflammatory. So very, very special hot dogs. You're not gonna find anything else like this on the market because it doesn't exist. And what is a hot dog without some sauerkraut? We just got the organic uh, regular sauerkraut here from Whole Foods. And now that I'm looking at this ingredient list, oh man, I'm not gonna like this. I actually bought this brand once and I didn't like it and I got rid of it and I forgot this was that brand because they put uh, caraway and dill in it, which is my least favorite. Really don't like caraway and dill. I guess we don't have a choice, right? We're gonna have to put it on the hot dogs anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. On the side, we have our potato chips from Frankie's Free Range Foods, just fried in coconut oil, minimally inflammatory, as good as it gets, organic potatoes, land salt. And uh, what's also going on in the hot dog is just some French mustard. Only ingredients are mustard seeds and salt. But what I have a problem with is these hot dog buns because they do have a small amount of vegetable seed oils in them, uh, specifically canola oil. And then there's a few additives here and there and chemicals and things that aren't so great for you. So uh, these hot dog buns are the reason that I wouldn't eat this every day. And yeah, you could get like a sourdough bread or natural baguette or like a better quality bread and just put the hot dogs on that and it will still be delicious. But for like the nostalgic hot dog, you know, you want the regular hot dog bun. Back here we have uh, just two apples and uh, what we'll also show you guys later uh, for the cheat meal, we're gonna have some s'mores. And I think we did a healthy s'mores video like two weeks ago, so it's gonna be that same recipe if you guys already saw that video. Uh, I guess what I'll show you guys is, uh, well, roast the hot dogs on the fire and uh, then we'll sit down and eat. So before we go roast those hot dogs, I'm just gonna take our, our three hot dog buns and just put them in the pan to warm them up. Sauerkraut also has to be warmed up, so we'll put some of that in the pan. I think I've said it before, guys, these hot dogs are my favorite part of the beef share, the flavor. Everything is really delicious, really amazing. Hopefully in a year or two when we have our own meat plant, uh, we can sell these separately. But uh, for now, we have them in the beef share. So you're going to get a few of these. And if you look inside, you know, beautiful red meat, very, very fresh. And I'm just slicing these open a little bit so we can get uh, more flavor on the fire and cook them a little quicker. All right, so it turns out that cutting the hot dogs in half and then putting them on the skewer isn't the best idea. We should have kept them whole, but we'll just get some, some color on each of these and hopefully we don't ruin them too much. All right. So we toasted the buns in the pan a little bit and then I put in some water, covered it to steam them just to freshen them up. Put the hot sauerkraut on top, a little bit of mustard on the hot dog. And uh, let's see how it is. I mean, it definitely hits the craving. And I like putting a lot of sauerkraut on this because, you know, it's pretty dense. It's like meat and bread. So by having the cabbage in there and a lot of it, you're adding uh, some gut motility, some fiber. Still haven't found someone to make these potato chips, so... Hopefully that happens before we completely run out. Now at face value, hot dogs and potato chips don't seem too nutritious, but if you break it down, you might be surprised because the grass-fed beef, of course, has a lot of nutrition. And when you're eating, you know, half a pound of meat at once, you're getting so many amino acids, cholesterol, B vitamins, all of that animal nutrition, sauerkraut, 
full of B vitamins, full of vitamin C, so good for you, really one of the healthiest foods you could have. And the bread is just calories, energy source, feed the gut bacteria, excellent. So we're getting plenty of nutrition, minerals, vitamins from the sauerkraut and the meat. And potatoes, as we spoke about in our like top few vegetables video, are super nutrient dense, full of minerals, copper, magnesium, potassium, so, so good for you. So really, this is an excellent, excellent meal, which we can't really say about the, uh, as much about the s'mores later if we have them. All right, so about halfway through the meal, I'll have maybe a teaspoon of mastic gum. And since we're having the white bread, we're probably gonna have a lot of sugar and stuff in the s'mores later, I will take a vitamin B1. If you guys are wondering, where is the water kefir? I forgot to bring it home. Uh, so we do have a new flavor grape available, and today we just made another new flavor which is apple pineapple lemon like kind of like a tropical punch combination so i'll definitely be catching up on that uh drinking some over the weekend and these chips are so filling like i don't even need half a bag at once we just have an apple sliced up i'm gonna have that before we make the s'mores just to add some more fiber to the meal these are some of the uh, the raisins left over from that bread pudding we made. These are really good. Organic golden raisins. I'll probably buy some more of these. Organic honey crisp apples. My favorite for sure. Time for dessert number two. And we have everything for the s'mores in here. I'm not going to go too much into the ingredients because uh, I showed you guys them in depth in the s'mores video. But we have the Pasha vegan white chocolate bar, organic best tasting and minimally inflammatory chocolate on the market keyword white chocolate has much less caffeine i think it's actually zero caffeine supposed to be uh, we have hammond's vanilla bean marshmallows which are not completely organic but they are the only uh, high quality marshmallow on the market that you can actually like put over a fire and then we have annie's organic honey graham crackers which are actually not too bad so thank you guys for joining me for my day of eating. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my dessert by the fire, you know, just roast up some marshmallows, put it on the cracker, have the chocolate. And a lot of this is kind of empty calories, just sugar and starch, feed the gut bacteria. Chocolate is a good source of minerals, but overall this is really just for enjoyment with as minimal inflammation as possible. So guys, definitely check out my Amazon shop. All the uh, ingredients are on here if you wanna try these really delicious s'mores that are not so bad for you. Outside of that, you guys can go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com if you wanna try some of the hot dogs that are in the beef share and really just go to frank uh, Check out all the businesses, guys, lots of interesting products. But as always, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the Thanksgiving weekend and I'll see you for the rest of the videos this week. I gotta show you guys at least one s'more. So all I do is just put this on the skewer. I light the s'more on the fire. Only takes a few seconds. So once the, the s'more burns a little bit, I'll blow it out. Nice char flavor. Put this on the cracker. Put my square of chocolate on top, mush it down. Perfect bite. Really, really delicious, guys. Really delicious. Gotta try these s'mores out if you haven't.